I hear a lot of rowdiness happening. What's going on over there with Garrett Wilson? We will be back with shooter. the Jets wide receiver after his rookie year. Okay, Marissa's doing her thing. Hamilton's doing his thing. Come on, Garrett, let's go! We'll be back with Mark Andrews, Anthony Munoz, all on the show <laughs> next. I got the energy. Terrific catch by Garrett Wilson. Got the energy. Garrett Wilson, unbelievable. Got the energy. I know you're feeling my drive. I got the energy. Energy. I got it. Energy. Energy. Yeah. Wow, those look like the highlights for one of the finalists for Rookie of the Year on the offensive side of the ball. Garrett Wilson's here. Let's go. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? It's good. It's good to see you. When you see those highlights, what do you think? 1,103 yards? I want to get that exactly right. Is that, is that right? right. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel after your first year? Um, I mean, that was cool to see. You know, looking back on it, it's really cool. Um, yeah, to be here right now and, and you know, be able to be a part of something like the NFL Honors, I'm really excited and, uh, you know, thankful for this rookie season. NFL Honors is huge. You're being a little humble, though. I'm going to be honest here. We looked at the numbers. Um, you had more yards than DK Metcalf, more yards than Jamar Chase, who I know and love at the Bengals, Chris Godwin. And how many how, how many guys throw the ball? One, two, four quarterbacks? Yeah, a lot. Too many. <laughs> Too many. So I think, do you want to tell the voters it's an easy choice? Um... I'm not going to say all that, but, you know, I do think I'm a deserving candidate. And, um, you know, to win something like that would be would be uh, a blessing. So, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited to, to be uh, nominated and excited to see what happens. You know, a lot of great uh, other candidates as well. Mm, a little humble for, for me, for my it, liking, Darius. What do you got? I, I got a question, though. Expectations versus reality. What were your expectations coming into the league as a rookie? Obviously, you played for Brian Hartline, former yeah. pro. I'm sure he got you right. But what were your expectations versus the reality, um, especially being up there in New York as a rookie receiver? Yeah, I mean, um, New York was everything I kind of thought it was. You know, coming from a big fan base in college and, yeah. and going to the big city, um, you know, you see how people can let it get the best of them sometimes. Yeah. You know? And, uh... For me, it was just making sure I turn over every stone, you know, ask the right questions around the facility, talk to the veterans, yep. and, and, and um, you know, try to put myself in a spot to where at the end of the season I can look back on it and feel like I did everything in my power to be in the best position I could be in. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't have, you know, much expectations. You know, I, I'm confident in my ability mm -hmm. to play, and I figured once I uh, just started putting my stuff out on field and, mm -hmm. and learning the offense, I'll be all right, you know? Yeah. So it was just about asking the right questions and learning. You know? Okay. So, yeah. And yeah, you should be, and I think that you're not being, you know, you're, you're handling the question right. I'm trying to get you to brag about what you did. <laughs> but I do think one of the reasons that you're not, even though you can, because you did everything that you could, is that your boy is also a finalist, yeah. Chris Olave. And so I, you know, I know my saints, but did you know this, that you and Chris Olave are the only two guys to ever go to college together and then put up a thousand yards of pieces for a few wide receivers. It's wow. NFL history that you guys are making. So I'm sure it's all love between you two going oh, into yeah. NFL honors, right? No, yeah. So Chris is my dog and, uh, you know, for a long time now. So it's been about four or five years now. And, and to see him doing that uh, with the New Orleans, Saints, New Orleans Saints, you know, I'm not surprised. Are you going to ask me about yeah, sauce or should I? Go ahead, you ask him that. What, I mean, what do you want to know? You're the mayor of Shutdown City. I mean, what, what, what was that like with Sauce, man? Yeah, Obviously, like young, you young superstar receiver in the league as a rookie. He's a young superstar corner in the yeah. league as a rookie. Those uh, historically are two of the toughest positions to come in and be uh, impactful early on. What is it about you guys? Did you guys, is it iron sharp as iron? What, what, what are those practices? What are, what's yeah. that locker room vibe like with you and Sauce? Um... Yeah, man. So it started. It started early. You know, we got there in in April, and and by the time May came around, you know, we were going that in in, yep. in OTAs. I think it was yep. the rookie mini camp. And um, yeah, man, he's just a dog. He's gonna bring the best out of you. You know, Garrett, who's winning most of those battles? Sauce did. Sauce <laughs> did. But sauce, sauce ain't done one on ones with me yet. So. Okay. So that's different. <laughs> we're gonna get right. <laughs> we're gonna get right at some point. This might be the first wide receiver I've ever admit. I've ever heard admit that a corner wore the majority of the reps. Yeah, yeah. Sauce, no, Sauce is a great player, first yeah. of all. And um, he knows how to use his body. He talks, talks trash. And, you know, it's, it's fun to be out there with him. You know, you're going to hear the vocal side of yeah. him. He's confident. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it brings the best out of you. So I'm looking forward to, to getting to go at it again. Yeah. You know, after seeing him for a year and see how he stack up with the rest of the corners. I mean, he's the best I've seen. You okay. know? Wait, I need to hear what's the best Sauce um, impression. Give me, give me a little Sauce. <laughs> give me that trash talk. Trenches. <laughs> this is Sazdi right here. Trenches. Lockdown. I like it. Trenches. That's what, that's what Sazdi talking right, about. So this year, you saw a lot of the best corners of the league this year. Who uh, who kind of stood out? Uh, yeah, Sertain in, uh, in Denver. Yeah. a great player. Um, um, Very Marlon technique, Yeah, you know, and, and like I said, Sazdi is, is 
good, if not better than than all of them. You know, he need top dog for me. And yeah. Going against him, he's just a really tough matchup. You know, long, mm -hmm. know how to use his body. Um, but yeah, man. You know, I, I was blessed to be able to get exposed to some of the better corners in the yeah. league. You know, early. So, um, yeah, so many great players. And, and just okay, but to how about off the game. field? Off the field, Garrett. Who's winning those matchups in that? And I know you two are both big Toronto gamers. You and Sauce. Have you ever really? played him? Not Sauce, because Sauce no. He played Call of Duty. Oh. But um. If it comes to Madden, I'm not losing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't lose. I hate Madden. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, why you say that? Because, you know, maybe I'm just too old. I, I played the old Madden yeah. as it got newer and it had the, all the extra little gimmicky <laughs> stuff. I, it kind of lost I me. Feel. So now I've actually veered over uh, to FIFA. That's okay. my game. What yeah. else do you play, though? So you play Madden? I play FIFA else? a little bit. Okay. Uh, MLB the show. Um, okay. I don't really I kind of stay on sport really. games a little bit, but. You know, it's hard to find time. So whenever I do have time, it's kind of mad because mm -hmm. mm. I want to play with myself. And, you know, it's been a Garrett, stuff I was F1. dreaming of, you know? F1, where do you stand? F1? We he were just talking was. about it. Tell we, were me. we were talking I about that before we were live. I'm that from Darius's Austin. Thing. So I like F1, and I've kind of been uh, hip on it for a while, and now it's starting to catch on around the country, you know, around the world. And, um, you know, I love Lewis Hamilton. I like his style. I like his, uh, his swag, you know? So, you know, I like F1. Just because of, of him, though. Yeah, obviously. that's not that's not your boy, though. Your Lewis boy. Hamilton's definitely. I thought you were a Verstappen first off. I, I, I like Max because, you know, he, he's a dog, too. He's a winner. I like his attitude. Red Bull's been kind of yeah. dominant these last couple of years. But Lewis is kind of like that in that Tom Brady. He's yeah. been dominant for, you know, won seven championships in a row. Played for, I mean, drove for Mercedes, so he's, uh, he's dominant. But I want to go back to football for a second. Because yeah. I got to know, um, in your era, who were the guys – you looked up to and kind of tried to model your game after when it comes to running routes, top of the routes, releases, all those type of things. Yeah, um, you know, I kind of said this a while back, and everyone was like, "That's a that's someone that not many people know." And for me, I was thinking like, "Damn, not many people know Stevie Johnson." But like, Stevie Johnson was one of those dudes for me that I love Stevie Johnson. Yeah. Bro. And just his game and how he's getting off the line, the crossover, like yeah. little light hoops out there. And for me, that was easier to to translate. You know, when I could put it into basketball words and terms. So. Um, I'll say Stevie Johnson, Larry Fitz, Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. uh, Randy Moss, obviously. But yeah. like, you watch him, you like, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's like, that's... Um, yeah, people like that, man. You know, I like I like watching all the players, all the games, taking stuff from quarterbacks games, all that mm -hmm. stuff. You know, so Cam Newton when he was in college. Oh. Like, I grew up playing quarterback, so mm -hmm. really that's, um, you know, where I got a lot of my, um, I don't know. A lot of the stuff I learned was watching quarterback basketball stuff. background, quarterback background. You check all you check all the boxes, yeah. man. I see I see why you're a finalist now, man. Finals for offensive player of the year. That's no joke. And you're saying you like to watch those players, Darius and I, yeah. and everybody else loves watching you. Yep. I want to show you, and if you want to look up there and take me through, I just picked my favorite Garrett Wilson moment yeah. of the year. Can you guess what it is? It's against the Browns, I believe. Oh yeah. And y'all were down, so let's play. Let's key my up this play. Too. Yes. Yeah. Is it really? Oh yeah. yeah well, yeah. this was. You guys were handed the script, and it was crazy. <laughs> down 13, two minutes to go. You guys score. You get the onside kick, and then walk me through this. I mean, ah! that's just Flacco right there. So you know, it kind of sped up the route. And this is back in my home, so like for me, this was everything. You know, I'm thinking about my whole family's there. I got some friends there, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, you catch the ball in this play, you go into a different zone. I don't know what I was saying, what I was thinking about. I was just lit, you know. You can see it. You can see it. I was lit. That's Look all. at Flacco. Flacco talking. That's not often you see that, so. You know. <laughs> we love it. That's one of four quarterbacks that threw the ball to give you those 1,100 three yards that have you at NFL Honors up for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, there's a lot of talk about Aaron Rodgers potentially throwing your passes. Have you visualized that? What are your thoughts when you hear all that? Um, for me, you know, I see, I see the tweets. I can't lie. I'm on social media. Mm -hmm. I see it all. And um, it's been so much stuff going on day to day. I try not to, you know, I'm at the point now where I try not to pay attention to it. Because uh, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, if I got to play with whoever I get to play with, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, Aaron Rodgers is obviously a legend. And seeing him play last year, I mean, it's a legend. You know, to be able to catch this pass, that would be awesome. But, uh you know, I'm open to play with anyone, any quarterback. You know, we got some good ones, too. So. What did you learn about yourself? Four different quarterbacks, not everybody goes through that, especially not in the rookie year. Yeah. You did it successfully. Like, how did you manage that? Um, I just doing my job, you know, being a young guy and coming in every day trying to get better. You know, it's nothing. Um, just catch the ball when it's thrown your way. You know, you got to simplify the game, and it is, a, it is a simple game. You know, catch the ball, make the play when, it's, when your number's called, and... Um, that's all it was, you know, no matter who's singing it. Was well, so. Salah helpful with that, I bet? Yeah, Salah was. You know, a lot of the vets in the receiver room, uh, you know, Miles, all, all the guys in the facility, really helpful. So, you know, I'm really uh, thankful for, for 
you know, the situation I'm in and who I got to be around for my rookie season. Who sure. do you want to see at NFL Honors? Who do I see? Yeah, who do you want to see? You'll be on their red carpet. It'll um, be all the stars. It's like former players there, too. Everybody. I really There's legends, about it. the Hall of Famers. I got to see Randy Moss. Say what's up. That's my favorite player of all time. Like, is Rihanna going to pop by? I don't know. Is Rihanna going to be there? Oh, she's doing halftime? I hope so. I hope she's, she's not going there. <laughs> yeah, I hope she's she might, I hope she's know. too big time. She was just at the Grammys. Probably she's You got chilling. your fit ready already? Nah. I'm oh, going to go today. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, though. We're going to stay. I already know. I already know. I already know. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to warn you, too. Yeah. Next year. It's going to be a different year as far as defenses. Every, everything is going to be geared towards stopping 17. I'm sure it was like that um, in college. But I'm going to go back real quick. I got to ask you about C.J. Stroud. Yeah. I'm a coach. We need a quarterback. What will we get if we get C.J. Stroud to build it? Um, I mean, that's just someone that you're going to get the same person every day. Yeah. Um, someone that's going to come to work. And, and the talent speaks for itself. When you watch the film, you see the talent. I mean, yeah. it's pinpoint accuracy. It's standing in there taking hits. It's... um. It's all that, you know, knowing knowing how to knowing your personnel, knowing who you're playing with. You know, he's a dog, yeah. man. And uh, for me, you know, playing with him in college, I was blessed. Playing with Justin Fields in college, you know, I, didn't, yeah. I was blessed, man. And uh, CJ is someone that's going to come in the league right away. I'm confident in and uh, take over a team, be able to lead them and, and dot some stuff up. You know why? Yeah. That boy got dots, man. So yeah. I, I love him, man. I saw him live in person in the playoffs, man. I, I, I the Georgia hope you game? Did. You went to the Georgia yeah. game? Yeah, oh, yeah. I was yeah, on the field for that. That was fun to watch. Great game. Great game. You know what I love is that you two are getting along so well, and you're an yeah. offensive star, and you were a star uh, DB, and there's a lot of love happening here. Let's mess that all up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come with me. You've got your Stay Hungry bracelet on. I see Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Offensive Rookie of the Year nominee. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play some non-alcoholic. Where's your agent? Where's XL? We non-alcoholic. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, no Devin was it? Devin from XL Sports. Alan Zucker, I love you. Here we go. We're going to do this. And here's how it's going to work. Okay. I want you to walk over with me, and uh, it's going to be you and I against Darius and Marissa. You guys are going to lose. Oh, we're not. Okay, we're going to take, and then whoever loses has to take shots. I will. Garrett will not. Okay, let's do it. So <laughs> we're going to remind you real quick anybody? how we play flip cup. Yes. Okay, so we drink the whole thing, then we put Boom. it down, and then we flip the, flip the cup over. So okay. who starts? Uh, the, the flanking. Have you ever played this game before? Oh, you can, you've never played Flip mm -hmm. Cup? Are you lying? I've never played Flip Cup. Okay, so I have to chug it, no. and then I have to flip it, and it has to go opposite, and then you oh, start Oh, no, I've seen it. this before, though. Oh, you've seen, seen it. it? Yeah. He's seen it before. You got a real, <laughs> okay. you got so a really well media trained, Devin. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, who's saying go? I will. What happens when the other person finishes? Is this over? Yeah, when, when you make it, I should have got a practice rep or something. Then I go. Okay. It's like a little relay. It's like a relay. I'm going first. <clears throat> so it's a relay race? That's I guess just you and me versus yep. them two. Go for it. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Darius. Hydrate. Hydrate, Darius. Wait. Oh, other way, other way. Other way? Yeah. Oh, go, 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 drink! A little later. See, see, come on, Marie. Hey, do your job. Can we get some Rihanna? Was that the right way? See, no, start it that way, yeah, yeah. We get some Rihanna instead of whatever. Woo! Shots, please. Connor, two shots for these two. All don't worry right. about it. Don't worry about it. This no, is the offensive rookie of the year. Hopeful he'll be your NFL honors. We appreciate yeah, you, Garrett no Wilson. Uh, 1,103 <laughs> yards, and we're wishing you a more successful <laughs> software. Awesome. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. Hey, cheers. Drink it up. <laughs> we love it. You can't. Come on now. Like water, Woo! That's what we like to see here. Mark Andrews coming up next.